I just want to take a quick look at this Master Force uh, six-piece plier set. This is going to be um, two linesmen, two diagonal cutter, and two needle nose pliers. Um, and it is sold through Master Force, which in the States is a Menards brand. Um, one thing to note on the packaging right away is, um, as with all Master Force tools, um, you do get a lifetime warranty and my rule of thumb is I only like to buy kits at the big box stores if they also sell the tools individually that way um, at, le at least um, with Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot you won't have any trouble with um, just swapping one of them out under warranty um, and with the Master Force tools at Menards in particular you do not need to have a receipt um, just bring the tool back as long as it has some sort of master force markings on it still it'll be fine and one other thing to point out is this is made in China which is pretty standard for pliers at this point so Menards recently replaced many of the master force products with a slightly newer version um, the older style having a color scheme of this lighter tan and green and the handles tend to be a little bit more of a rectangular corners or sharp corners um, this newer style it, at first glance it looks nice it looks a little bit more flush so it takes up a little bit less room but I would say there's just a little too little grip on this um, for my personal taste um, typically um, tool like this I'm gonna hold it and I'll actually put it in between my fingers so I can easily open and close it um, and if it does tend to get sweaty or anything like that um, or oily or you have lubricant on it, it's, it's just going to slip a little bit too much for my personal taste. Comparing that to another um, house brand product like the Cobalt um, pliers handles, they, they do give you significantly more grip on them. And while I don't like the feel of them as much, um, they are going to be a little bit more grippable once um, wet. So one thing I should point out with these linesman pliers is um, they are only linesmen in form. Um, they typically, a linesman plier would actually only close to about that much, so you could still get a wire in there and twist it, um, just um, puncturing the insulation, but not the actual wire, where these do close fully. Um, I bought this set for more mechanic use. Um, I'm going to put it in a tool cart. Um, for basic automotive repair and for that these are great however um, it should be known that these are not true electrician tools and just to give you an idea of the two different sizes there um, similarly for the side cutters um, these look pretty nice um, yeah the two sizes once again there and the needle nose. One thing I noticed is um, the needle nose that is sold separately in this size um, does have the the single wire stripper hole in it which would be a more electrician style tool um, where the one that came in the kit does not however um, they did not sell one like this individually packaged so I would guess it's just a supplier issue and um, in short order, it will probably go to one or the other for the individually wrapped ones as well. And then here's that smaller size one. Um, one of the biggest things I look for is just um, how much daylight you see in these tips. And I know the camera's not going to pick it up very well. Maybe on the bigger one we can get an idea there. Um, these close nice and tight. Um, and you know, I'm just going to hold on to a fingernail or anything like that and they are still light enough where I can do easily handle these single-handed so for me they work well um, I like that they're using a more streamlined grip something that's not so flashy um, but in this particular case I'd say they're just a little missed off the mark with something that could have um, been a little bit better for outdoor use um, or anything automotive where you know you, you really could use some extra grip. Um, one last thing, let's talk about the fit and finish on these. You can see that um, these were not well um, assembled. 
the actual forging looks fine, but um, we just basically have glued in handles and they're not polished. Um, it's more of a black oxide finish. I think that's fine personally, but some people would be a little bit concerned about that. And if that's the case, maybe you should look at a more premium brand like Channel Lock, um, Knipex. Um, that would give you a little bit nicer finish. All right, well, that concludes a quick look at these uh, pliers under the Master Force brand sold at Menards. Um, if you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments. Otherwise, stay tuned for more 